So what? I just press record? Or is it already recording? Here with my boy Andrew. Here with my boy Edgar. Yes, Lord. Here with my boy Joseph. My baby daddy David. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to the LZ World Tour. What's up, vlog? Sick ass battle. All right, Andrew, tell them where we're going. We're going uh, to the LZ World Tour. We got Edgar, we got Joseph, we got David driving, we got the main man, Chris. All right, let's go. No. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As Andrew said, we're going to the LZ World Tour. Got the homies right here. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a Q&A like literally like a couple hours ago. So we got a couple questions. They're all gonna answer the same questions. What is it, like a two hour drive? Yeah. We're gonna answer some questions on the way there. That shit gonna take like five minutes, but we got like probably like five questions. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this, next time I post a Q&A, ask us a question, bro. <laughs> All right, first question is by Steamy Grape NU7 DQ. If you could listen to one song the rest of your life, what song would it be? This is a very good question. Let me think about it. Go, Andrew. Uh, one song. I pick House Arrest Teams. Like, uh, going live by Face Rug. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Edgar? Everywhere you go, the only song you can play is that one song. I'm saying about it. No, you fucking chose face bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to see what your music taste is like. But World Cup, like, World Cup like by Mexican speed. music. El hijo del siete by Grupo 360. I'll what choose that. I'll choose that Rocky song. Uh, they listen to magic music. It's fucking just calculation <laughs> numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I probably choose that, that Rocky song, the Tiger one, the Eye of the Tiger. That, that's a David ass song. That should get me hyped up or anything. All right, next question. S13 or S14? I don't know why you're asking me this. S13, S13 or S14? I'm gonna have to say, it depends. There's S13 coupe, which if that's part of the question, I'm picking a coupe over everything. I really want a coupe. Without the pop-up front end, just that general question, I'm gonna have to say S13. I've had two S13. I've had one S14, but. All right, man. My bad. <laughs> I'd say S13. Andrew don't even know what an S14 looks like. Uh, that means a S I E R R A, you know? Sierra game, you know? Uh, uh, I don't know the difference. <laughs> you, Edgar? Edgar knows what S14 looks like. The one by your girlfriend's house. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say the S14. S14 vibes. You, Joseph, you know the difference? I ain't even gonna lie, I don't. But I'm gonna say S13 because you did. Yeah. David gonna answer this with the best explanation possible. <laughs> nah, I'll say that S13 coupe with the brake headlights, that two tone. Bro, S13 coupe with brake front end, bro. Yeah. One day, one day it's coming. Yeah. This is the reason why I want a coupe. That last question was by 40 Soar on YouTube. Next question is by Bamboon GL4195. What made you get into cars? Fuck, I don't even know. What made me get into cars? I mean, I've always liked cars, but what made me really get into cars? Um, fuck, what do you think was the car we worked on the most? Mustang. Mustang. Yeah, the Mustang. We always like cars. Like, I mean, like, what kind of guy doesn't really like cars? Even if you don't know much about them. But I remember Edgar had bought a new Ed for, what, 500 bucks? Yeah. And I remember he told me, like, should I buy this? And we knew, bro, we had, like, one of those, like, AutoZone, like, the suitcase tool things. <laughs> That's all we had to our name. It was like pissing cool and we had no idea why. And I remember we had just watched the Chris Fix yeah. video. Shout out Chris Fix. We watched the Chris Fix video, like same, same car, same everything. And it was pissing cooling too. And me and Edgar just took a bet and we're like, oh, that's probably why it's pissing cooling. <laughs> <laughs> so Edgar bought it, took it back to his house. He didn't even have concrete in the back. At the beginning of this channel, I think we, he already had concrete. His whole backyard was grass. Right. And we put it on jack stands <laughs> in the grass and we fixed it. And that was like the first time. That shit took us like, what, like a week? Yeah. yeah. That was the first time we ever got our hands like on a car actually took it apart. So I think ever since then, like we just started like, working on cars a lot. My first car was a V6 Mustang and we cut off the exhaust uh, before the cat right on the street with a saws off. It's basically the same answer for you, huh? Yeah. David? Andrew, Andrew? Andrew? Uh, like not just cars, trucks, anything like. When my dad used to work for Ford, he would take me to work and shit. His dad has a badass um, lightning. Hanging out with Edgar. 
Back when Andrew used to live in Compton, he was like five minutes away from us. So Andrew helped me with my car when it was in my backyard for like a solid month. Andrew actually helped put that motor in last. <laughs> the reason that motor is in my 240 right now is because of Andrew. I picked that shit up myself. This <laughs> big ass bag. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Joseph? Um, I mean, I've always had an interest for cars. I feel like I'm interviewing this. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had an interest for cars. I grew up around a lot of cars. My oh, brother-in-law. Oh yeah. yeah. My dad. My dad used to have a '70 Impala. And then um, my brother-in-law used to build a, a Eclipse DSMs. Oh, this was been a Willow Springs before me, actually. Yeah. That's crazy. And then when this fool got his Mustang, we all we all used to be in there swinging that shit, going to Long Beach, <laughs> oh, going yeah. to the beach, chilling. I had a SN95 as well, a new edge. Recently sold it. Yeah. Kind of sad. You got an IS 350 now. Yeah, 350 now. But yeah, I would say just grew up around it, so eventually would fall into it and yeah. like cars. You, you reflect cool. your environment, basically. Yeah, exactly. Who are you, David? Um, David likes mopeds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mopeds are sick. When I had a PS2, a Padrino bought me a Need for Speed Underground 2. Oh, I forgot about that. And I feel like ever since that, like I just I just liked cars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Midnight Club was the shit. Oh, yeah, the PSP, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, I, was, I was just going to go back to my first question. Actually, like actual interest for cars is probably my PSP. My cousin, shout out my cousin. I doubt that you're watching this, but shout out, fuck, what was his name? <laughs> <laughs> his name's Edder, too, I think. Shout out my cousin Edder, if you're watching this somehow. I had a PSP, I had like two games growing up. My dad couldn't really buy me games, but I went to his house and he gave me Midnight Club Dub Edition, and it was over since then. I love that game, bro. Nah, for me, pick my ride on the PSP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, I was putting uh, fish bowls in his fucking <laughs> Astro Van. That was a really good question, actually. Oh, Next question is from Four to Side. Yeah, for okay. the side. His question is thinking about a next project car after the 240. Well, I have like six project cars in mind, like at back to back. But money wise and like just time wise and everything, my plan right now, do I want to say, should I say what car I want next? Because I might get it next. I'll try to guess in the comments what car he wants next. So the plan is to learn the basics of drifting with, two, with the 240. It's almost ready. It should be at the track in like a week or two. After I learned the basics of the 240, probably after like a few months of drifting it and I get really good at it, the 240 is going to go down, I'm going to boost the motor in that one, and then I'm going to have to get a seat time car, and a seat time car I'm going to just throw seats, um, a hydro in it, an angle kit, fuck I don't even know how I could give you guys a hint, it's still a Nissan I guess you could say, hopefully down the line maybe I can work on like 2-3 cars at a time, but right now uh, I just want to drive the 240. I'm gonna just tell him what it is. He's getting a Heltima. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna extend this question to everyone else. If you were to get a car for the channel, basically, what would it be? Uh, like to work on right now? If like money, time wasn't an issue. Or do you plan on getting a, a project car later? Uh, yeah, but I feel like I would want, I don't know, I, I get stuck in between like, like a Beamer, like something here, like, like that, like an E36. Like more like, street car? I really want an E36, but I feel it's like I would, uh, I would be down to build like something like an Integra too. So like, it just ranges, but. The most well purpose you want to pour. Yeah, most likely, I'll probably buy like a, probably buy an E46. You better make that civil engineer money too. Yes, sir. Andrew, what car would you get? Yeah, honestly, I don't think I would build a car. Like, <laughs> I don't think like cars are for me. Like, uh, I, I would build a truck like for the channel too. You know, like. That's fine. Yeah, I would want something like classic though, like a Buick Regal. Like oh, that's a bad uh, I see you in one of those too. Yeah, no, but like drift wise, I don't really see myself in a drift car. Nah, it doesn't have like, to be drift wise, it's just a, like any project car. Nah, you're probably like a Grand National. Oh, actually, I don't know if I'm gonna record it. I was gonna add it in the next video, but I wanna fix up my dad's truck. My dad has a 95 S10 and I kinda wanna build it, not off road. I need a parts truck, something to go pick up wheels and tires and stuff. Um, and we have that truck, but I kinda wanna modify it a bit. That'll probably be on the channel if you guys want to see it, but I'll, let, I'll tell you guys more about that later. What about you, Edgar? See you in like a fox body. Nah. See you like a. If I want to build something, it'll be a new car. Newer car? Yeah. Like what? A newer S197? Or? I want a Chevy SS. Chevy SS? Oh. What about you, Joseph? Does it have to be like a fucking car? Nah, it's nah, it be any car you want, bro. Yeah. Any car you would want to build. You could build a fucking G and M3 if you want. Why if you were to get a project car and time and money wasn't an issue? I'll probably go back to New Edge and get an O3 or Cobra. Oh, Terminator? Yeah, so yeah. Put a whip on it. Top shit, top shit. Alright, this is the last question that was on YouTube, but the rest are going to be on Instagram. Treads Media asked, this was an hour ago, <laughs> what have you learned so far from this build and what would you have done differently? Fuck, bro, I would do so much shit differently. What have I learned from this 240 build? <laughs> That's one of 
up, that up. As, cor- as corny as that sounds, bro, never give up, bro, because fuck. As you guys, if you guys watch the channel for a minute, is that what he said? No, he said never give up. Oh, I said never give up. Never get a clap down 240. And then that moves on to my next one. Never give up, because fuck, bro. There's so many times, like, just shit doesn't go as planned. I mean, it's an old car, but I wish I knew what I know now about 240s when I first got that show, because that show is clapped. And at this point, it's a full-on drift car. It's gonna have to be. There's no point in me building it nice to become a street car. So that's one thing I wish I knew back when I got it. Like 90% of everything I know came from this car, so I'm grateful for that. What would you have done differently? I would have bought a different car. <laughs> that's what I would have done. I wish I knew more about 240s in specific when I got that one. And I wouldn't really change anything about what I've done. I, it's it's helped me learn everything I know now, so it's been worth it. That's like 30% David supporting. What would you have done differently? I think I think you were trying to make the car like perfect, bro. Yeah, bro, because I was. I, I mean, yeah, I bro, feel like I living feel like, next to Tito and seeing his car. <laughs> yeah, I would have told you to take it easier. Like, yeah. it doesn't, doesn't got to be perfect, bro. All right, Cesar Hernandez asked on Instagram, what do you do for a living? Um, I mean, I work a normal job like anyone else. I work a nine to five still. And I also have my clothing brand, clothing brands. I work at a dairy plant. The only thing that sucks about it is the hours. As you can see, I can't fucking make videos uh, most of the time because I'm working. Andrew, what do you do for a living? I work for an air conditioning uh, company. They do plumbing as well. No, that shit's a mission, huh? Yeah, it's lucky. It's all right. But I think I'm thinking of going back to school. School for what? Probably like a little trade school. Probably like either HVAC or plumbing. Hell yeah. Hey, plumbers make money, dog. I made a plumber that used to drive a Lamborghini. Oh, that was me. <laughs> My fault. What do you do for a living, Edgar? Uh, master mechanic at Mercedes. Mercedes man. At Mercedes. Yeah, I work on cars. Mercedes. You guys remember I used to work at Ford? Yeah. Left there. I work at Mercedes as a tech. It's been Mercedes. Oh, yeah. uh, I work at UPS. I'm a preloader, so I load the packages into the, the cars so they can go out in the morning. Would you guys recommend your guys' jobs for someone that's like, because a lot of these people that watch these videos are young, like they still in school, they're just still looking for a job and shit. I say, yeah, I say, uh, plumbing and like HVAC is a good, it's a good job. It's a good trade. It's a good yeah, trade. it's a good career, literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hands on work, you know, but yeah. it's a good job. Same. But well, you gotta, you gotta have a good mindset because this shit ain't for everybody. Yeah. If you don't have the right mindset. I love cars and I don't ever see myself working at a dealership. It's like, I love working on cars for myself. Like I don't see myself being at a dealer and stuff. That applies to anything. That's a really good answer actually. Cause I see UPS as a career, not just like, oh, I'm just taking it forever. I eventually want to become a driver. If you know how much drivers make, you know. You know, you know. But, and that, it doesn't take that long to get there either, huh? It doesn't. Like if you want to become a driver, then it's worth it. Like staying there as a career and all that. But as like where I'm at right now, just preloading the trucks, you don't want to stay there forever. Yeah. That should have killed me. I mean, you got to start somewhere. Yeah, though. you got to start somewhere, you know, but you don't want to stay there forever. Though. David works two jobs, actually. I work at FedEx. That's like my main job. And it's cool. Like, I'm just on the forklift and shit. Like, it's, it's pretty chill. Like, uh, you don't really get, you don't really like talk to a lot of people. So you're just like on your own. And I don't know, like some people prefer that, some people don't. But I think it's a good job because like, it, it's pretty easy. Like, there's a bunch of young people there. There's a bunch of old people there. But like you don't have to stay on the dock like doing the forklift shit. Like, you it pays like, pretty good too. Yeah, they pay. They have competitive pay compared to other uh, companies. But you can like go into being a supervisor, like a, a team lead, or like even a fucking uh, service center manager. Like the service center manager where I work, he started off as a dock worker too. Damn. And uh, now he's a manager now. And then on the weekends, I work like this little funnel cake spot. But it's cool. Like it's cool for teenagers and shit. Like if you're in school, if you're going to school and like you just had that job on the weekend, I only have it because like I only work one day and I don't I don't really mind it. This was a full-time student too. You're yeah. about to graduate in like what? In May. Yeah, like a couple more months and this was out of school. So that, that's crazy, bro. You have a graduation vlog? Yo, hell yeah, graduation vlog. Y'all looking at a, like two months away from being civil engineer. That's crazy, man. He's gonna get us the hood. Hell yeah. Yes. You gonna give him my G80. <laughs> that was a good question too. I always wonder that too, like watching some other people. This one's for Andrew. Next question is by LMC S13. Wet, <laughs> wet fart or dry fart? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> me personally, I like my farts wet. <laughs> That's just me, you know? Alright, next question. <laughs> <laughs> next question is by S13 Yubi. I think that's how you say it, or Kiyubi. 
how much money into a 240 right now. Bro, I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Maybe I'll do the math later and I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, but I'd say, I'm a guess, well, not including the price of the car, they said money into the 240. Six, seven. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it's past 10. I was gonna say 10. Yet. I don't know if it's past 10. I was gonna say 10. I'm like with Edgar, I'll say like seven or eight. But maybe I'll put it on the screen right now. If not, I'll put a picture of Andrew. <laughs> what do you think, uh, Andrew? Let's see who guesses it right. Uh, oh, bro. <laughs> uh, 8.3. <laughs> 8.3? Uh, 8. All right, imagine this is all the money. Eddie, you say 7? Yeah, I say 7. You, Joseph? I say 9. 9. nine. You, David? I say throw it to 10. Like 9, 5, 9, 8. 9, 5, 9, 8. And it still looks like a missile. Like, because you bought stuff, but you haven't put it on. Yeah, yeah. bro, the bash bar I just put on it was like 600. Wait, is that? The body kit was 1,000. The headlight motors, the interior. The head studs were 300. The the head gasket was another 100. Right. The seats were 150. The the, the, bro, the door cards were fucking uh, 200. Well. You bought me working on it was like a van. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, nah, you might be right, David. It might be close to that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the math. But... All right, next question. <laughs> Carlos Relas asks, any plans on making a 240SX car me or 80s slash 90s me might make a good video for YouTube? Hell yeah, that would be dope. But I mean, that's like something like down the line, like 10K more probably subscribers. That would be sick, actually. Like having like a, like a meetup of a bunch of like subscribers and stuff. And just, not even subscribers, just having a meetup of just a bunch of like 80s 90s cars 240s that'd be really dope of course i would love to um i'll extend the question and say where i would do it where would i do it what would be a good spot to do a, a car meet nah i don't know where i do it but that would be sick i would love to do that maybe one day in the future next question is from dj set rock he asked on instagram what is stopping you from dropping content constantly i mean like i said earlier the number one thing that's stopping me is my job. Obviously, I have bills to pay. I have a family to help take care of. I need a steady income for sure. The time is the main constraint. Like, I have to go to work fucking eight, nine hours a day, sometimes more. Minimum five days out of the week, sometimes six. So that kind of just really, that's the number one limiting factor right now. But hopefully one day I can quit that job and I can start making videos a lot more often. But I'm still gonna try and make videos a lot more often. There's just a couple things I gotta, I gotta plan out. Uh, but that's the number one constraint as to why I can't really make videos. Next question is from Abraham Jr. He responded, I love you. <laughs> I, I love you too, dog. <laughs> it's Abraham. <laughs> it's fucking Abraham. Is it really? Yeah, it's Abraham. Uh, oh, the boy, the G37. Yeah. You got a message for me? Fuck you. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do my whole chain. So, help me, Abraham. Straighten up your eyes. <laughs> One more thing, he looks like Boston. Yeah, they were cooking your shit, dog. I love you, though. <laughs> Next question is from Roger. That. That part. Are you planning to go SR in the future? Fuck as no. Them bitches like six, seven thousand for a four cylinder. I one day want to have an SR. I don't know if it'll be in this car because if I'm spending six, seven racks on a motor, it's gonna have to go into a cleaner shell for sure. But you said for SR, SR twenty? Yeah, bro. You said four cylinders. Um, SR20 is a four cylinder. SR is what 240s came with in Japan. Yeah, he's, he's uh, five, five, uh, five, uh, five, five. for some reason I thought they were in like six. To answer that question, I don't plan on going SR. If somehow I find a crazy deal or one of you guys wants to sell me an SR for cheap, I would love to go SR. Hopefully one day. I'm gonna stick with the K in the 240 for a bit. Uh, I wanna boost that motor eventually if it holds up. Maybe not this car, but like I wanna have cars with like JCs and them, RBs, like that's a dream. Who's who doesn't want to do that? Uh, the next question is from Cody H underscore Y, he asked, should I buy 240SX as a project car? No. I'm 18. No. no. I mean, he said project car. If your funds are like adequate, but buy like, a 240. I, I'm assuming 18, like graduated high school, probably working a full-time job. Like why not? Like, yeah, but even if you're working a full-time job, bro, 240s are expensive. Fuck no, hey, 240s on a micro I know, seven grand for a clapped out Yeah. Honestly, like bottom opinion, like a 240 is a great car to get as a project car because they're easy to work on. You can learn a lot on them. But like they say, you get a clean one. And even if you get a clean one, bro, there's so much money. Parts for them are so expensive. The drift tax on these cars is insane. So that's why I wouldn't recommend it for an 18 year old unless you have a really good job somehow. 
But at the end of the day, I think it's a good project car. But I honestly, at 18, I'd recommend something a little bit more affordable. What, what project car would you recommend? I'd say a Mustang. <laughs> um, nah, a Mustang would be cool, but it depends also what you want it for. Well, it depends if like you want rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. Yeah, it depends all on like. I would say a good project, like one of the best project cars right now, is probably like the 350Cs or Infinity. Yeah. Nah, he's, he's not lying. So answer your question, basically, it depends. I'd, I personally don't recommend it for 18 year olds. Learning from experience, they're a lot of money, they're money pits. Look at Chris's older videos and tell me if you want to yeah. do that. Yeah, watch all my last videos and then tell me if you want to do with, deal with all that. I'm having the worst thing, don't even show up on that. <laughs> for real, huh, literally. All right, next question is from Itzel Aguilar. She asked, what is your biggest inspiration? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Being surprised, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just the first two for you. Oh, right. <laughs> Honestly, like, like I don't even want to sound like a fanboy or anything, but my biggest inspiration probably is like Adam Oz. Ah, Why are you ah, saying that? Just because we're going to that, man. The glazing is crazy. Nah, it's, 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 it is glazing, but for real, just watching him, like his first videos, bro, he was so young with one car, and now look at everything he has, bro. He has a fucking Jurassic Park of cars, like that's crazy. Like no one could ever think that would happen. And just to go from that to that, that's the, that's what inspires me. Like, oh, this from this is possible. Just YouTube in general inspires me seeing what people have done. Like Jimmy Oaks, TJ Hunt, Adam Oz, it's just a six. There's a bunch of YouTubers I've watched that kind of- Rxtro. Rxtro. They just give me motivation to like, all right, this is possible. My biggest inspiration actually is my dad, bro. If it wasn't for him, none of this shit would be possible. I think my dad too, like, just like family in general, like, came here, they came here with nothing, you know? Yeah, literally. Built it up. And also, like, uh, the older figures I have in my life, like, yeah, took me to the right path. These guys right here, you know, older homies, yeah, showed yeah. me the right way. Yeah, this was barely 18. This would look like it'd be our uncle. <laughs> All right. That's fact, that's fact. Right here? Yeah, I would say family too. Joseph? My parents. And our parents did so much shit for us, bro, and we fucked up, bro. That's like the biggest waste in life. And, and if you are fucking up, and if you are fucking up, it's never too late to change your life around. Hell yeah. That is never too late. I've met people that were like 40 something that changed their life around. Like, you never, it's never too late. We basically live in Compton, and like, bro, our lives could have turned out so much differently. Like, we're blessed to be here, actually. We're gonna go watch fucking cars fucking drive. Like, we could have been like shooting at people and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I would have to say the same thing that my parents, like, same thing with uh, Andrew said. Like they came from, they came from nothing to give us something, and it's, and that, it'll be fucked if we don't if we don't take advantage and do something out of that. Yeah, I think that's like the common like morale that we have as like like we're all Mexican here. Uh, uh, Joseph's not Mexican. What? He's a little Mexican. Uh, oh, he, like, he, he, he got a little song there. Yeah, little song. He's got a mullet. Nah, no, I am not, bro. <laughs> we're all Mexican here, and like that's kind of the same morale that we all have, basically. Like, I'm sure a lot of, I know a lot of my viewers are Mexican as well, because I've gotten DMs uh, asking if I was Mexican, because they're Mexican. So shout out you guys, and. And my little brother, shout out, shout out Gabriel. Shout out, uh, shout out Gabriel, bro. He got Gabriel. tall. Shout out Gabriel. I've seen him. But that was a really good question, actually. All right. I'm about to picture Gabriel right here. Next question is from uh, the same person. Uh, she said, tips for someone getting started in the car community. I, I can't really answer that because like what does it mean to be in the car community? Like, like build, buying, buying a cool car and building it. Oh okay, like getting like starting to work on your own car. I would uh, say watch YouTube videos. Yeah, li honestly, like fuck, like I mean, 50% of everything I learned is from YouTube. 50% <laughs> of it is from working on a car. And before I got my 240, like 90 of it was from YouTube. Well, you could learn everything off YouTube. Like it's actually crazy. Shout out Chris Fix, bro. He saved us so many right. times. And what? And don't give up. Oh, another thing, if you're just getting started, like, budget your money, because, bro, your money can go like nothing working on a car, so that's very important. A car isn't isn't your entire life, so don't spend your entire life on it. Always have money saved up on the side, you never know what happens. I feel like you've worked on enough cars to fucking be able to sell, give good advice. If you're, like, planning to, like, let's say, like, lower your vehicle, like, Plan it out and, and do your research because there's so many different routes you can go. Yeah, different and, and different like, brands, different parts. Like. And when you lower it, you're gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower my car. So like, what well, was gonna come with that? Your exhaust might be too low, so you gotta think about that. Your uh, yep. yeah, like on my truck, my I needed after lowering my truck, I had to like fix my drive shaft, I had to fix my exhaust. Like it was just yeah. a bunch of stuff that came after lowering my vehicle that I just didn't know about. So I would just say do your research and, and plan everything out. 
Yeah. yeah, once you start modifying shit, something's gonna break, something's gonna give out. So another thing, get a daily if you're gonna plan on working yeah. on stuff like that. Always have a car to get to work, get to errands, like you always need a reliable car. Anything you wanna add to that, Joseph? You got two cars already. Yeah. Um I would say Bro, blue. your first car your uh, first car probably gave more problems than my two forty, oh Doug. My God. <laughs> <laughs> my first car sucked, bro. I had it for like, what, it was like a week or a month. Yeah, we did the water pump like three times nah, a month. My water pump went out at least seven times. At least. At least. That's crazy, bro. My intake bro. manifold came out, spark plugs, oils, um... Your cooling reservoir, your... My cooling reservoir. Oh, what did you learn from that? What would you say to someone? Um, if you're going to look at a car, inspect it, and have someone that knows what they're doing, go inspect it with you. Cars are used, they're not brand new. Um, but just make sure you don't get the bad end of the stick like me and Joseph, because our cars have been nightmares ever since we got them. Also, my fuel pump. Shout out for them oh, for yeah. fixing it though. Yeah. But shit was cooked. Okay, look, it was fixed, right? <laughs> it was dry, but also, build what you like. Don't be trying to hop on waves because everybody's got that car and all that. Yeah. Build what you like and you'll be straight. Yeah. All right, this is the very last question, the most important question. 40 store and the question is tits or ass <laughs> my girlfriend gonna watch this but i got both so i ain't got nothing to worry about what about you andrew me personally ass is overrated i'd rather have some big tits that's <laughs> because you got skin twin them <laughs> glazing bro they glazing <laughs> out of respect out of respect ass, <laughs> ass. definitely ass they was married they would guess this shit Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's your question. Alright, what's People up? People keep asking me, what's up with the stuck in neutral shorts? My homie been asking me like, hey bro, when your homie's dropping more stuff, like... Bro, it's hard, I'm looking bro. For, like, I'm looking for like gym clothes or like just clothes I can throw on. Alright. People been asking me what's up with the 3X stuck in neutral shorts. How? <laughs> 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 your homie, your homie, Andrew? Your homie? Yeah. Well, we've been slacking with stuck in neutral, but I have a job, I have my other brand I'm trying... Like, my other brand got deleted, so I've been trying to start that up again. But I mean, there's no excuse. I should start working on sticking neutral. Edgar uh, should start working on sticking neutral too. There's no excuse. We just been slagging. So hopefully soon we can start making some more shit. If Edgar's down, sure. and we gotta start getting that pushed through, because I want to start making videos and I want to start making clothes again. So I bet y'all don't got the samples up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even have the drop. <laughs> he got his shit hung up in the wall. He said one day. Nah, we got bigger sizes coming too. Like just. Oh. Just in general, we just gotta start working on that shit because I know a couple of you guys have been asking about that, so suck a neutral soon. I got a question, I got a question. What's up, baby? If I could buy one car, money was not an object, like no project car, a car you buy it and that's it, that's the car you get, you can't modify it. What car would you get? Do I have to pay for the maintenance or do I get free maintenance with it from the dealer? No, like you don't have to pay for it. Oh, obviously I'd pay like a fucking McLaren 720S or something, but I'm not parking that shit on the side of the street. I'd say right now, even this car I wouldn't want to park on the street, but I'd say probably like a... Damn, I don't, I don't, we can't sell it, we can't do anything. Honestly, man, like at this point, I'd say I'd pick like a GMC Sierra, like a brand new one. Oh, yeah. A Duramax. Pick them out. Nah, 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 I would, that's bro. Fire. It's a hundred and something thousand dollar truck, and it, I'll have that truck for the rest of my life. Like, so I think I'd pick that. If it wasn't that, I'd pick like a G80 M3 or something. But I, I really, I really want a badass truck right now. You, Andrew? Um, for sure, Trackhawk any day. Yeah. This was always talked about Trackhawk. Trackhawk, for sure. Probably uh, Lamborghini SVJ or STO. Close to. You better carry your garage to put that bitch in there. <laughs> I want to say something like, like what Chris said, like responsible, like smart. Yeah. Oh, fuck all that shit. <laughs> I want to say some kind of SUV, maybe like Mercedes, like TND. Mercedes? Hey, my boy David thinking about family now. Or well, like, bro, you can take that car for anything, bro. Yeah, you can. You can take it out for hey, dinner. Okay. Take it out you for can lift that city. shit up, take it camping. I've been, like, I've been liking the X5s and X6. Hey, nah, X6s are, X6s are sick, bro. I think I'm going with Mercedes, too. They're nice as fuck. Nah, they're yeah. bad. It's good. It's luxurious and it's like a sport, too. Like the GLE yeah. got the AMG V8 in it, too. Like C63 or E63? C63s are sick. The they're E63 like 100 something K, huh? Wait, I changed my answer. I take it back. If we're all going Mercedes here, I'm getting, or, or, a, I'm or, getting or, a Maybach. Or C43 too. C43s are bad. Maybachs are bad. So. Maybach. I wish Mercedes made like a badass pickup truck. This shit gonna be like a 30 minute QA. It's gonna be a separate video. <laughs> if you guys had a, a choice to pick any truck, like any year, any model, what truck would you guys pick? 
truck. Brand new? Brand new? Any, like, it doesn't matter. It could like, be a fuck. But I, I say, like, if it's from 99, it'll be brand new. Yeah. Oh, shit. Because I could pick, like, a 2026 fucking GMC Sierra, or I could have, like, a badass square body Chevy. My friend has a theater type shit. Yeah. I think I'd pick the square body. If it's gonna be a that, brand that, new condition. That one truck that was in these ones. Yeah, bro, the video? yeah the just, square body. That's yeah, the one I'm talking about. Bro. Brand new out the theater condition. I think I'd pick that because one day that probably is worth more than like a brand new GMC. Honestly, bro, like lately I've been liking a lot of Dooley's. Like, Dooley's are sick. Dooley styles, I've been liking it. So I would probably say like a 2024, probably like a Super Duty F250 Dooley. I'm just gonna sit around. Or I would get a oh, single cab 5.0. Oh, oh yeah, that was a yeah. And it works as a truck? That's only truck I would get. Those are cool. Like Edgar, I don't really like, like trucks like that, but I would either pick between a uh, 0304 SCT Lightning or a uh, Raptor R. One of the new ones. Those are oh, more sick. sporty. Either bad. All right. I'm going to cut it there because it's already going to be like an hour long. I would ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what would you, what would you nah, pick? I want to go <laughs> nah, I'll probably get the, the TMC uh, Cyclone. The little, oh, the little old mini. ass one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. This shit got like a faster 0 to 16, like some Porsche. Yeah, bro. <laughs> right now, the dealer go crazy. But it's, it's either you want performance or a badass, like, work hog. Yeah. I think I pay like a square body. But it's because those trucks, you, you won't find them no more, bro. Brandon, yeah. you won't find them no more. Like I cut to some sick ass drips. Alright. <laughs> right now. Let me go transition. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it for the Q&A. Thank you guys for asking questions. Next time you guys see me post for a Q&A, ask us some questions. Because like you guys saw, we answered every single one of them. This is going to be more like a vlog style video. We're like 49 minutes away and we'll check in when we get there. Just sat down. <laughs> nah, this is sick, bro. But it's raining right now. Hopefully, they don't cancel. I doubt they'll cancel. But it's raining pretty hard. It's gonna clear up in like two hours, supposedly. Hopefully, it clears up. Hunted something for some umbrellas is wild. The sun is coming out. Hey, check out Damien. Check out Damien. Check out Damien from Daily Driven Exotics. David and Damien on there. I don't know who that is. He bought dino nuggets for $13. I got six nuggets for $14 on bullshit. Oh, Jesus. How's it going so far? <laughs> it's going good. It's, it's getting warm right now. Hopefully the water clears up. My ass is wet. Sun came out, track's drying out. Preview on the on the They put us on lightning watch. Oh yeah, we're, we're on lightning watch for what, 30 minutes? Yeah, So, no no one's outside right now. That's we're all underneath the bleachers. Look at the lightning, look at the lightning, look at the lightning. Look at the lightning. Ooh. They already got hit, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I want a blanket, but then I want to buy it from We'll tap back in if the weather gets better. If not, we'll right, pick up the vlog. We're either going to be back on the bleachers. The next, next clip is going to be some cars going. Or it's going to be us driving home. <laughs> Yeah, bro, look at the interior. Bro, I want an S15 so bad, bro. Hey.
Yeah, that was a tough one. So we have a decision between Ali Bakshi's and Dipsy Williams, and it was a tough one. Um, and we're going to lock it in. We're going to let you guys know what it is. The graphic comes up on your screen. And the winner is nobody, because we're going one more. Oh, let's go! Alright, we're gonna go get some food. Sorry, Ben. Cold. Shout out to Aussie Tour. You want five guys? Yo. I mean, we do got five guys. We only got four, but we got Andrew comes as two. I hope you guys enjoyed like the little vlog type video. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys did. Maybe I'll make some more in the future. Joseph talk. It was a good day with the boys. Had some good laughs. You did not want to smell Andrew's farts. Bro. That shit. Huge is. We got two hours to home. But this is the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like, comment. See you in the next one. Bro, and now we're in? Okay, I'll take you one more.